type A person, and so I would make the hotel arrangements. I would get us the, the rental car. I would get us the flights. I was kind of like team manager in addition to being everyone's teammate. Interesting, too, for Nathan and Adrian, yeah, as we get ready for the 200 backstroke, taking maybe a different role as some of the younger core starts to loom large, including a guy like Jacob Pebley, the proud Cal Golden Bear, age 23, fifth in Rio in this 200 backstroke. If you look at the whole field, Nikita Trechikov of Russia is swimming out of swim Fort Lauderdale, the 18-year-old in lane number one. Ryosuke Urie of Japan, the 27-year-old in lane number two. Former silver medalist in this event. Shu Jiayu, silver medalist in the 100 back from Rio. He'll be in lane number three. There is Jacob Pebley, originally from Corvallis, Oregon. Luke Greenbank, lane number five, the 19 year old there. Arkady Viachanin, age 32. More on his story coming up as he works towards U.S. citizenship after his time with Russia. Omar Penzon, four time Olympian for Columbia. And Paul Lee, swimming out of the Missouri State University Swim Club. He'll be in lane number eight. So here's the field for the men's 200 back. They all enter the pool. Pebbly in fifth in Rio in this event. Ryan Murphy, of course, doing the double. Strong work in Rio. And focus in now this week on the college ranks for him this weekend at Pac-12. We'll see how Pebley does as one of the front runners in this event. Pebley in lane number four. Right now, lane number three. Shu has the early lead. That is a really beautiful stroke. It, it reminds me a lot of lane two, Irie who has probably the most beautiful backstroke I've ever seen. Um, but you see in lane three, just keeping head still and almost floating on top of the water, doing a really nice job of, uh, you know, establishing a lead early in this race. Two-time Olympian, two-time world championship performer for China, has the lead on Jacob Pebley. Rie, lane number two, about a second or so behind Pebley, who was a second or so behind the leadership. We mentioned Viachanin in lane number six, again working on his U.S. citizenship, and if everything gets done, he hopes to have it done in time so he can swim at the U.S. Nationals and have the possibility to swim for Team USA or to go well for him later on at the World Championships this summer. First, of course, needing to qualify. And right now in this race, Shu still the front runner. Pebley with a late charge. We see Shu doing that really nice job keeping his head still, but he is certainly fading. And I know Pebley very, very well. And he's been training hard over the past several years. So it's coming down to the finish, but I just don't think he's going to have enough. Pebley coming on strong, but Shu has enough to hang on for the win. They are the two fastest times in the world this year in the 200 back. And Shu happy, but whipped. That is an impressive time. 155.04 for this, this point in the year is very, very impressive. Oftentimes at this time in the year, we don't see anything under two minutes. And that 155 is quite a bit under two minutes. Certainly is for him. Only about a quarter second off his personal best. Shu Jiayu able to deliver a strong swim here in Indianapolis. You know, Pebs had, Pebbly, sorry. <laughs> He's my old teammate, so I called him Pebs. But his last 50 was a 29-1, which is very, very fast, but it just did not have enough room to, to finish and to get that, get that win. In the silver medalist in the 100 back from Rio, 
wins the 200 back here in Indianapolis. He'll celebrate the win. More great action coming up. The 50s on the way for the men and women when we return to Indy in a moment. You're watching NBCSN.